So, uh, let us uh, come to your next uh, regarding RL circuits few example, 4 5 example and with this your first order circuit will stop. I will not give you an exercise perhaps except one. So, I will suggest that you open any good book and try to solve some pro try to solve some problem of your own and whatever problems have been solved for this course, I mean you will not find much difference than others, I mean all varieties of problem have been considered right. So, let us look into this circuit. So, it is it is you are given that figure this is figure uh, 58 determine i t for t greater than 0 assume that switch has been closed for a long time. So, this switch was closed for a long time right that means this uh, this current will flow I mean it is getting a your what you call a short circuit path that means this current will flow like this for a long time the switch was closed right. So, that means you assume that uh, if the switch is closed for a long time at the time inductor also will act as a short circuit then uh, then what will be the your current initial initial uh, current. So, in that case uh, your what you call say i is equal to it is 20 volt right divided by 4 ohm. So, it is 5 ampere because switch was closed for a long time. So, current will flow like this. So, this will be inactive because it is a short circuit right and in that case you have to your inductor will behave like a short circuit uh, your uh, so uh, your current will be 20 by 4. So, 5 ampere. So, let me clear it. So, if you look into this, if you look into this that I 0 minus that is initial inductor current I told you that it will be 5 ampere right. Now, uh, what will happen that your that means current through the inductor cannot change instantaneously. So, when the switch is uh, your what you call when the switch is open current through the inductor cannot change instantaneously. So, I 0 minus will be equal to I 0 plus is equal to your 5 ampere. So, I 0 minus is equal to I 0 plus is equal to I 0 is equal to 5 ampere right. Now, second thing is that this switch actually this switch is now open right. If switch is open, so this switch is open now and at t is equal to 0 and suppose the steady state is reached that means, switch is open and steady state is reached means inductor again will be short circuit. Therefore, my I infinity will be equal to 20 volt and this is open now. So, this is a, this is your current will flow like this. So, this is my uh, and this is my current say I infinity a steady state. So, it will be 20 upon 4 plus 6. So, it will be 2 ampere. So, I infinity will be 2 ampere right. So, let me clear it. So, in the here you will see that your I infinity your is equal to your 2 ampere here it is 2 ampere and if you look into the circuit if you lose the when switch is open and uh, when switch is open. So, this is short circuit. So, what will be the R thevenin? R thevenin is simply right you you just uh, you just sort this voltage source. So, it will be 6 plus 4 that is ohm that is your 10 ohm. So, R thevenin is equal to 10 ohm and tau the time constant will be L upon R right. So, it will be 2 by 3 into 10 right. So, 1 by 115 second that is your tau. So, let me clear it. So, if you look into that everything has been made it here if you look into that tau is equal to L upon R thevenin. So, 1 upon 15 second. Now, we know this I t is equal to I infinity plus I 0 minus I infinity to the power minus t by tau. So, I infinity is equal to 2 I 0 we have computed 5 I infinity again 2 and e to the power minus 15 t. So, it will be I t is equal to 2 plus 3 e to the power minus 15 t ampere right. So, this is this is a simple problem right. Similarly, if you determine here determine I t for all the values of time all the values of time in the circuit all the values of time mean 40 less than 0 40 greater than 0 this is the meaning right. and look here it is 5 volt is there and here only 5 u t that is one step volt uh, step input is also there for 5 u t volt right and this is 0 0.2 ohm this is 0 0.6 ohm and this is 0 0.3 Henry right. So, one thing is there that this is ok this 5 volt is connected, but this is 5 u t right. So, this is 5 u t means this is five, you know that 5 u t means it is 0 for t less than 0 and it is 5 for t greater than 0 because u t is 0 for t less than 0 and u t is 1 for uh, t greater than 0 right. So, in this case 
suppose 40 less than 0, suppose 40 less than 0, that means this voltage source with uh, actually it is 0. So, in that in that case, for if, if it is if it is 40 less than 0, then this will be you make it like a uh, circuit will be like this because this voltage this voltage will be 0. So, make the circuit like this right like a short right and this 5 volt is there and in that case what will happen and if circuit remains for a long I mean if it is like this then at steady state the inductor will act as a short circuit right. So, inductor will act as a short circuit. So, at that time what will happen your initial current this current direction is taken like this that means, it is like this because it is short. So, this 0.6 ohm is not effective nothing will go through this. So, current to 0.6 ohm resistance is 0 right. So, in that case your this initial current that I 0 is equal to your I 0 minus is equal to I 0 plus whatsoever is equal to it will become 5 by 0 0.2. So, it will be 25 ampere right. So, that means, my I 0 is equal to I 0 minus is equal to I 0 plus is equal to 25 ampere right. So, this is because of this step input this is for T less than 0 right. So, this is 25 ampere now let me clear it. So, next uh, solution is there later right. So, now question is that for now for T uh, uh, for T greater than 0 at that time this 5 volt source will be there right. So, at that time it is 5 volt and e, e t greater than 0 means u t is 1. So, this 5 volt is there right and if if you think that your circuit at that time your what you call that your circuit is in your uh, steady state right. Then again your that means again it will act as your what you call as a short circuit at t greater than 0 and assume that it is it is reached to a steady state steady state condition right in that case also it is short nothing will be flowing through this because this is a this is a short circuit path. So, current will flow like this current will flow like this. So, in that case your I infinity the steady state value right it will be phi if you apply K V L A R you look uh, I mean I, I rather I am writing for you. So, if you apply K V L in this there it will be minus 5 plus 0 0.2 into I again minus 5 is equal to 0 therefore, my I is equal to your 10 divided by 0.2 that is your 50 ampere actually this current is basically I infinity. So, this current this is actually I infinity is equal to I. So, it is 50 ampere I infinity. So, I 0 is equal to 25 ampere and I infinity is equal to your 15 uh, your 50 ampere right. So, steady state value uh, let me clear it. Now, to get that your what you call to get that your R thibnin R thibnin so, this this source should be short and this source should be short. So, 0 0.2 ohm and 0 0.6 ohm are in parallel. So, R thibnin will be is equal to 0 0.2 into 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6 right. So, it will be 0 0.2 into 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.8 right. So, it will be your 0 0.4. So, I think it will be 1.5 ohm right. So, and L tau, tau is, 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 is equal to L upon R, your L is 0 0.3 and so you can easily compute tau. So, all these calculations how has been made I showed you. So, now come to this solution. So, in this case Arthibnin is coming around 0 0.15 ohm right whatever it is and this is tau is equal to L by Arthibnin coming to second and by definition 5 ut is equal to 0 for I told you less than 0 and it is 5 for t greater than 0. So, I 0 minus I told you it is 25 ampere I 0 is equal to I 0 plus is equal to I 0 minus 25 ampere because at the time of switching current to inductor cannot change instantaneously right and for t greater than 0 I infinity I told you it will be 50 ampere I showed you right. Now, we know from this for t greater than 0 we know that I t is equal to I infinity plus I 0 minus I infinity to the power minus T by tau right. So, you substitute all these values you will get I t is equal to 50 minus 25 to the power minus 0 0.5 T ampere. So, T greater than 0 therefore, for all the time means it is I t is equal to 25 ampere the initial value for T less than 0 and this is for T greater than 0 50 minus 25 to the power minus 0 0.5 T ampere that is for T greater than 0 or simply you can put it in a like this I t is equal to 25 
uh, right plus 25 minus e to the power minus 0 0.5 t u t actually this one your uh, these two have been comp uh, these two have been your what you call have been uh, your uh, uh, combined together right. So, that is why u t is made therefore, I, I t is equal to once again I am writing note that for t less than 0 u t is equal to 0 and for t greater than 0 u t is equal to 1 right. So, this hope you have understood this right now next take another one this is uh, this problem is a little bit interesting. So, in figure 60 right I will show you the switch has been in position A for a long time right and at t is equal to 0 it is thrown to position B it determine you have to determine A that is I t for t greater than 0 then B V 0 minus then V 0 plus and D i by D t 0 plus right all these things we have to determine. So, this switch has been in a position A for a long time and at t is equal to 0 it is thrown to position B that means in this problem switch was at position A for long time that means circuit has reached steady state right circuit has reached steady suppose this one it, it was position like this for a long time at that time inductor is behaving like a short circuit right and current to this that initial current that is I 0 it will be 12 volt and if you apply KVL here if you apply KVL here like this it will be 12 by 12 volt by 12 ohm is equal to 1 ampere right. So, this is your I 0 is equal to I 0 minus is equal to I 0 plus that is your 1 ampere right. Now, at t is equal to 0 the switch has been thrown it here right. So, this part is isolated switch has been thrown it here. So, at that time also you have to find out what is my what is your I infinity say first and I infinity means uh, suppose uh, at t greater than 0 suppose it has reached to a steady state. So, again it is short circuit at that time current flowing through this is I infinity that is the steady state value right. So, in that case it is 2 into I infinity is equal to 6. So, I infinity is equal to 3 ampere right. So, I 0 is equal to 1 ampere and I infinity is equal to 3 ampere right and where uh, and uh, let me clear it right. So, this is your this is your I 0 minus is equal to 1 ampere I told you I 0 is equal to I 0 minus is equal to I 0 plus that is 1 ampere and at t is equal to 0 switch is in position B right. So, in this case uh, when switch is in position B when switch here when switch is in position B. So, it is very simple R is equal to 2 ohm because th this from this two point you are looking to get that R thibnin and at that time you are making this voltage so short. So, basically it will be 2 ohm. So, R thibnin is equal to 2 ohm right and L is given 1 Henry. So, you can easily compute your time constant right. So, in this case your tau is equal to L by R thibnin. So, L is 1 Henry and R thibnin 2 ohm. So, 0.5 second and I infinity I showed you that it is 3 ampere how to get it it is 3 ampere right. So, because switch is in position B and the circuit is the steady state. Now, for T greater than 0 we know that I T is equal to I infinity plus I 0 minus I infinity is equal minus T by tau. So, you substitute all this value I infinity I 0 and tau you will get I T is equal to 3 plus 1 minus 3 e to the power minus 2 T or you can simply write 3 minus 2 into e to the power minus 2 T ampere right. So, that is for T greater than 0. Now, second thing when switch was in position A under steady state condition inductors act as a short circuit right. So, in this case your because from there you can easily find out right because here I mean when switch has this position A. So, inductor is behaving across a short circuit and this is the voltage across the inductor. So, and current through this is 1 ampere this is your I 0 I 0 minus is equal to I 0 plus right is equal to I 0 is equal to 1 ampere that we have seen. So, if you apply KVL like this because inductor is acting as a short circuit. So, it is 12 into 1 because current flowing through this is 1 right plus V minus 12 this minus 12 is encountering minus is equal to 0. That means, my V 0 minus it actually it will be first let me write down it will be V is equal to 0 which is nothing but V 0 minus is equal to 0 volt 
because at that time this circuit was this uh, your switch was in position A for long time. So, it is V 0 minus is equal to 0 volt right. So, let me clear it. So, that is why your V 0 minus is equal to 0 volt. Now, at T is equal to 0 when switch 1 switch was placed in position B we apply KVL. So, when switch is in position B I will mean look into this circuit when switch is in position B uh, at the uh, here at the position B. So, you apply KVL at that time say it is suppose uh, that current is equal to your I or what you call I 0 your I 0 minus is equal to I 0 plus right. So, here you apply KVL in this loop you apply KVL right. So, if you do so if you do so you will get this uh, this one your your uh, uh, 2 i 0 plus plus v 0 plus minus 6 is equal to 0. Just in that loop you please apply and take i is equal to i 0 plus because ca at the time of switching current current cannot change to the inductor instantaneously. So, you will get 2 i 0 plus v 0 plus minus 6 one I mean this one this one right. So, if switch is in position if switch is in position this one at, at, at the just at the time of switching the current flowing through this is I 0 plus right. So, it will be if you move like this it will be 2 into uh, here I am writing it will be 2 then I then 0 plus right plus V minus 6 is equal to 0, but I 0 plus is equal to 1. So, V will be equal to your actually it will be V 0 plus right V is equal to V 0 plus it will be 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 volt right. So, let me clear it. So, here your this is your V 0 plus is equal to 4 volt and we also know generally we know V is equal to L into di by d t. So, as V 0 plus is 4 volt we know. So, we can write L into d i d t 0 plus is equal to V 0 plus this, this has been asked. So, d i d t 0 plus has been asked to find out. So, d i d t 0 plus will be V L 0 plus V L V 0 plus upon uh, L the L. So, L is 1 handy and V 0 plus is 4 volt. So, it will be 4 ampere per second right. So, little bit understanding is required. Now, next is this problem. Listen this uh, sw this particular the switching that uh, DC transient the switching thing only thing is that your uh, we are our understanding has to be very clear then only we one can easily solve it in no time you can solve it, but uh, just uh, one has to see that how things are happening. Now, in this figure the switch has been open for a long time that means, this switch actually was open for a long time and your what you call and if the switch is closed at t is equal to 0 determine i t. So, this switch was open for a long time means that inductor is behaving like a short circuit right and it was open for a long time that for you, you find out what is your I 0 and I 0 is equal to uh, at the time of switching I 0 is equal to I 0 minus and at the time of switching it is I 0 plus. So, it will not change right. So, in that case uh, in that case if you have if you try to find out I 0 it will be 4 divided by 2 ohm and 2 ohm because it was open for a long time. So, it will be 4 upon 4 is equal to 1 ampere right this is 1 ampere. Now, so this is I 0 and I 0 is equal to just before switching I 0 minus is equal to just after switching I 0 plus is equal to 1 ampere because current through the inductor cannot change instantaneously. Now, let me clear it. Now, this switch is closed this switch is closed right that means, this switch is closed now. So, in that case this is inactive right it is short it is sorted. So, and suppose and circuit has reached to a steady state. So, inductor acting as a short circuit right. So, you make it like this. Therefore, my I infinity will be equal to your 4 divided by 2 because only 2 ohm resistance is active because current path will be like this, it will be like this right. So, this is not there because it is short circuited. So, it will be 2 ampere that is my steady state value that I infinity right. So, let me clear it and as switch is closed as this is closed and if you uh, you are what you call. So, circuit path is like this that this is the closed circuit therefore, my R thibnin this is also you can short it for getting R thibnin is equal to 
2 ohm it will not come because after switch, closing the switch this is becoming inactive right it is sorted. So, it will be 2 ohm that is your r thevenin right and you can find out tau is equal to L by r time constant. So, everything I said here right though I 0 minus it is 4 ampere r thevenin is equal to 2 ohm I told you. So, tau is equal to L by r thevenin L is 1 handy. So, half second and T tends to infinity that is I infinity I told you it is 2 ampere and for T greater than 0 we know this one that I T is equal to I infinity plus I 0 minus I infinity is equal minus T by tau. If you substitute all the values I infinity I 0 and tau you will get I T is equal to 2 minus it is equal power minus 2 T ampere right. Now, if we want I T for all T then I T is equal to 1 ampere for T uh, less than 0 because I 0 minus is equal to 1 ampere and it will be 2 minus it is the power minus 2 T ampere for T greater than 0 right. Therefore, we can write this uh, this equation that I T is equal to 2 minus it is the power minus 2 T is equal to we can write like this 1 plus 1 minus it is the power minus 2 T U T right. So, this is your I infinity uh, this is your uh, uh, this piece sorry this 1 plus 1 minus it is the power minus 2 T right. So, this way you can this way you can write your uh, your what you call when u t is equal to 0 that is t less than 0 it is 1 ampere right and when u t t greater than 0 u t is equal to 1. So, it will be because 1 plus 1 e to the power minus e to the power minus 2 t. So, 2 minus e to the power minus 2 t right. So, this way you can write. So, that is why it writing note that for t less than 0 u t is equal to 0 and for t greater than 0 u t is equal to 1 right. So, this is hope this problem is understandable to you right. So, in now in another thing is that in figure this thing at t is equal to 0 so figure I will show you that switch S 1 is closed for and, and 4 second later switch S 2 is closed determine I t calculate I for, uh, for t is equal to 2 second and t is equal to 5 second right. So, uh, at t is equal to 0 switch S 1 is closed and 4 second later S 2 is closed. So, this is the circuit. So, at t is equal to 0 that your at t is equal to 0 this switch S 1 is closed right and uh, at t is equal to and 4 seconds later this S 2 will be closed right. So, at that time S 1 and S 2 after 4 seconds both will remain closed forever right. So, let me clear it. So, at I mean when uh, this your what you call that this initially this switch this was also open and this was also open. So, that means this voltage source has no effect this voltage source has no effect right. So, if you look into this just hold on if you look into this right. So, initially that your as this is open this is open. So, initially this I 0 is equal to your 0 that is is equal to I 0 minus is equal to I 0 plus right. So, this is 0 because this was open and this is open. Now, this now uh, this S 1 this one is closed all, but this is open this is open right, but this 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 remains open S 2 S 2 will be closed 4 second later. So, this is closed and that means this is the path this is the path right this is the path this is this is this is open. So, this uh, this uh, this uh, branch uh, has no effect right and suppose this uh, your this uh, steady state the inductor is acting as a your short circuit right. So, in this case if if it is so then what will be then what, what will be the your what you call that your steady state current that is infinity for when S 1 close I infinity. So, I infinity will be this is 4 ohm and 6 ohm this is the 10 ohm are in series and this is the 40 volt. So, it will be 40 by 4 that is your your uh, 40 by 10 rather sorry let me uh, let me this is this is 10 is equal to 4 ampere. So, I infinity is equal to 4 ampere right that is your an initial value of I 0 is equal to 0 and I infinity is equal to 4 ampere. Now, here here uh, let me clear it. Now, here if you try to find out that what will be the time constant uh, this is uh, your this is this is close this is open right and your uh, for to get the your R thevenin for this case, but this is open S 2 remains open R thevenin voltage source should be shorted right and R thevenin will be equal to you are looking from this terminal you are looking from this terminal this is open it will be 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 ohm this is R thevenin and tau is equal to L by R thevenin right 
L is equal to 5 N D and it is your 10 ohm is equal to half second, uh, is equal to half second, right. So, so with this, with this everything I said, right, with this I infinity 4 arthivnin 10 ohm L tau is half second and we know this formula I t is equal to I infinity plus I 0 minus I infinity is equal minus T by tau. Put all these values you will get I t is equal to 4 into 1 minus e to the power minus 2 t ampere that is in between 0 uh, and 4 second because switch S 1 is closed right. Now, for t greater than 4 second now at t greater than 4 second uh, this is close this is close and this is also close that means, we will assume these two switches are closed forever right. So, yeah, I mean this is also close, this is also close at t is equal to 4 second this is close, the these two switches are closed forever right. So, in that case again you have to find out your what you call I infinity and your initial value at t is equal to at t is equal to 4 second that is at t is equal to t 0 is equal to 4 second you have to find out what is the initial condition and a steady state what is the final condition and then you have to find out the expression for t greater than equal to 4. So, in this case I hope you will understand this right when both switches are closed right. So, S 2 is closed this means S 1 and S 2 are closed forever right. So, sudden closing of S 2 does not affect the inductor current because the current cannot change abruptly to the inductor. Thus, the initial current is at t is equal to 4 you put at t is equal to 4 in this expression in this expression here i t is equal to 4 1 minus e to the power minus 2 t here you put at t is equal to 4 because the switch S 2 is closed when you will solve this problem no all this problem when you will see this first you will draw the circuit on your notebook after that you see what is happening right when you read, read when you read this video lecture for all the time you will see that first you draw the circuit on your notebook and then you will try to solve of your own before looking into the solution or what I am telling right. So, you put t is equal to here 4 second. So, you will find that I 4 is equal to I 4 minus is equal to I 4 plus right approximately 4 ampere because 1 minus e to the power minus 8 e to the power minus 8 is too small. So, approximately 4 second that is t is equal to 4. Now, let V be the voltage at node A. So, in this case now, now suppose steady state is reached this one this one steady state is reached. So, this is closed this is cold as and this this is your node A this V means your V infinity right the steady state value at that time this this your it is short circuited right. So, at that time you apply your what you call KVL this this voltage is V volt 40 volt right because this is 40 volt and here it is your 10 volt is there right and this V infinity means this is the your what you call this voltage across your this is short. So, 6 ohm uh, your resistor. So, your uh, node analysis we have already studied. So, directly I am writing this equation right as uh, this your what you call this uh, applying your uh, KCL at node A V is equal to nothing but V infinity. So, in this case you please you, you when you apply that that your your KVL that is of Bhatti minus V plus 10 minus V by 2 is equal to V by 6, V is nothing but V infinity right. So, uh, let me tell you once again this V is nothing but V infinity the steady state when inductor is acting as a short circuit right. So, if you solve this V actually this is V infinity. So, it is 180 upon 11 volt right. So, in this case I infinity will be V by 6 because across that 6 ohm resistance your vol, uh, your voltage this nodal analysis we got this V infinity. So, it will be v, uh, your V by 6 that is 180 upon 11 into 6 because V infinity is equal to 180 upon 11 I did not write V infinity, but it is understandable that is your 2.727 ampere right. So, let me clear it. So, the Thevenin resistance at the inductor terminal is if you look into that very simple it will be 6 plus 4 into 2 upon 4 plus 2. I need not go back to the circuit you draw the circuit on your notebook and just you can really get it. It will be 22 upon 3 ohm. So, tau will be L i R L upon R thevenin. So, 5 upon 22 by 3 is equal to 15 by 22 second that is tau. So, of equation 75 we know this no 
uh, because at it was t is equal to not 0, t, t is equal to t, t is equal to t 0 that is 4 second. So, that is why your from equation 75 it is i infinity then i t 0 minus i infinity is equal minus t minus t 0. So, it is basically i infinity i t 0 means t 0 is equal to 4 second. So, t i 4 minus i infinity t 0 is equal to actually it is 4 second because s 2 was closed after 4 second. So, if you put all this value i infinity i 4 i infinity and t your tau value. So, you will get i t is equal to 2.727 then 4 minus 2.727 then e to the power minus 22 by 15 into t minus 4. So, i t will becoming your 2.727 plus 1.273 e to the power minus 1.467 t minus 4 this is ampere for t greater than equal to 4 right. Let me this thing. So, putting all this together we have that i t is equal to 0 for t less than equal to 0 that we have got initial value of i 0 and for 1 minus e to the power minus 2 t for in between your t greater than equal to 0 less than equal to 4 and for t greater than equal to 4 this one we got it because two switches were there and it has been asked to find out at t is equal to 2 second what is the value of i. So, i 2 that is at t is equal to 2. So, 4 1 minus it is power minus 4 it is 3.93 ampere and it is asked also at t your 0 0.5 second. So, it will be 2.727 plus 1.273. So, 1 minus 4.67 uh, is equal to 3.02 ampere. With this, with this we will close that first order DC circuit as many as 23 problems have been solved different type of problems. With this uh, I believe all the parts of the DC portions have been covered. So, from the next uh, your uh, next lecture we will go to that single phase AC circuit and DC circuit we have solved several problems. I mean, I mean several problems for all six chapters, but in AC circuit as complex number will be involved and because of that we will restrict the number of numericals may be 7, 8, 9, 10 for each chapter or even less because complex number involved, but I will, but uh, any good book when you will follow you will solve the problem. So, we will see that single phase AC circuit from the next video lecture. So, thank you very much.